Uh, yes, so uh, I have something of a good problem to have, if you could call it that. Uh, basically, it's all about this guy right here, the 4080 Super. Now, uh, my issue, uh, it's, it's a spoiled issue to have. I know, you can definitely grill me and flame me down in the comments down below. But uh, hey, it is what it is. So back in 2020, I've actually bought this behemoth right here. This is the RTX 3090. Uh, it is a behemoth card. Definitely at the time was a very big boy. I mean, I'll just let you know what I jumped from to and you'll get to see for yourself. So uh, I basically jumped from this. This is an R9 380, a four gigabytes card that I had, I bought for around $100 during the GPU apocalypse. Uh, it was definitely mining. I even think the guy that I bought it from freshly picked it up from the mining rig. It was still hot. No box, no nothing. Just as is. And that was my budget. So basically that's the car that I got. And it was good for a period of the time. I mean, it was the GPU apocalypse. Everything was expensive. Uh, the world was crazy with the pandemic and stuff like that was just going on. So that's what I had going for me. Sometime after that, I really wanted a whole lot more punch so this was the king of the hill this was the 3090 uh i even did some mining on it some ethereum mining because i paid so much for it that i actually had it you know go to work so that you can pay off some of the debt that i had on it i picked it up on credit and i paid around 3000 euros for it from the store brand new i was scalped by a reputable store that is as well because, well, the GPU apocalypse was upon us, so, you know, the prices made no sense. But I really wanted the latest and greatest. I was a bit afraid of COVID as well, and, uh, you know, I thought that if I am gonna die, at least I'm gonna die happy by owning something that I really love, with the greatest, uh, the latest and greatest back then. And I'm really gonna enjoy the leaving hell out of it by playing a lot of games on it. And also on the side, whenever I was sleeping, I was mining some Ethereum because, well, those were the times, right? Don't get me wrong, you've seen this in uh, my other videos, and it is still a behemoth GPU to have. Definitely a great card still in 2024, uh, but it is going to draw a lot of power just by using it. I know it has 24 gigs of uh, GDDR6X RAM. It is definitely pretty fast, has a pretty big package to deliver, especially if you're into video editing and stuff like that, because you're not gonna get, you know, you're not gonna be using this 24 gigs of RAM in gaming, not by a long stretch of imagination. I mean, Cyberpunk right now, which is a pretty demanding title, uses around 10 gigabytes of VRAM, and this is definitely, you know, this has you covered, but uh, the excess is just waste. You're not using it. You're not really getting any performance out of it. And there's so many applications where you're not really getting the benefit of performance with the 24 gigs of uh, VRAM in, in this GPU. That is absolutely silly. Not only that, but I definitely love the fact that it has an NV link. I don't know, I was thinking that probably I'm gonna use this in some scenario where I can take a benefit of this. You're not, you're not. And moving forward in the 40 series graphics cards, you don't even have it anymore. This is just coming from their data center products where yes, they do stack up GPUs and the VRAM available for them. And they are actually going up to tremendous high amounts of VRAM in there, but that's a whole different topic. And now I'm down to this guy. Uh, <laughs> this is a 4080 Super. It is an absolute behemoth of a GPU. Uh, it, its size, it's, it's around twice as thick as the 3090. I mean, just take a look at these guys. Take, take a look. It's, it's almost twice as thick as the 3090 right here. And don't get me wrong, this is no little boy right here. This is also a very big boy. And especially when you're comparing with my R9 380, well, that's a museum piece by now, but this is definitely around, what, four times bigger than that? And this is around two times bigger than the 3090. So this is a big boy. But I've got nothing with his weight. I've got nothing with his looks. You take it or leave it, hate it or love it. It's all up to you. I don't care that it's made mostly out of plastic. It does have some vents here and, you know, some strange design. Uh, if you have checked my channel out before, you definitely have seen a few videos where I talked about this. Uh, but that's besides the point. The idea is that right now, I would like to upgrade to a 40 series graphics cards, but I can't. And the reason I can't is not the performance because yes, you are getting some improvements here, especially in the efficiency department, because well, as a short, short, short brief update, you are going to be using around 250 watts in Cyberpunk for around 120 FPS in close to 4K or 4K with NVIDIA DLSS set to on and basically all the other goodies as high as they would go. So max settings. While with this card right here, you're getting around 70 FPS for around 400 watts. 400! That's almost double the amount of power that that guy is going to be using for 
around half the performance. That's insane! So yes, there are definitely obviously advantages to getting a 40 series graphics cards. It doesn't have to be a 4080 Super. It could be a 4070. It could be a 4070 non-super or a super if you can get a brand new. Definitely that's a no-brainer depending on the uh, well offers that you are going to be encountering all over the spider of the web there. Definitely there are advantages to using a 40 series graphics card being a super or non-super. Uh, but I'm stuck with this one. I'm stuck with this one because I paid 3,000 euros for it. If you go on Amazon right now, yes, you can find it for around $1,500 or more used, which makes no sense because the MSRP on this one is $1,000. So why would you spend $1,500 on a used 3090, which is going to be running twice as hot and twice less efficient than a 40 series graphics card when you can get the latest and greatest right now with around $1,000 and it being brand new and also coming with warranty and also of course being more performant and also of course being more efficient. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let's just put them to the test and see exactly what's happening right here. Guys and remember if you want to have a chance to win a 4080 super much like this one right here all you have to do is join my Patreon and for your kind support of subscribing and helping along this channel you will actually have a real chance of winning a 4080 Super. All you have to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel right here and join me over on Patreon for as little as 5 euros a month. You will definitely have a chance to win a 4080 Super once we are going to do the live stream over at Gleam.io and choose a random winner. So as close to 4K as possible, DirectX 12 unlimited here with the frame limit, uh, frame rate limit I should say, the V-Sync is off. And well, the via DLSS set on performance and basically everything else except hardware ray tracing is uh, on and on with boost, which is the Re uh, NVIDIA Reflex low latency. So as you can see, we are hovering at around 130 plus, 140, shy of 150 sometimes depending on where we are in the world with Fortnite on this 40 Super. And you know what? I'm straight off not that impressed. Uh, because these are the exact same settings as for my RTX 3090 which obviously I can't get rid of because of well financial reasons and logic <laughs> but uh, hey you know whatever hey stop shooting at me buddy So surely other games like, uh, you know, Cyberpunk must uh, be running better than this. Frame generation, we have to put frame generation on. This is high. Okay. And basically all the other settings are as high as possible and as high as they would go. Let's click on continue and see what performance we can get in, well, Cyberpunk 2077, right? All right, so here we have a title that definitely takes advantage of, well, the 4080 Super right here. And yes, we can see that it is definitely running A-OK. -okay. Uh, we are sitting at around 9% utilization or even higher slightly, uh, but definitely we are sitting in the high, high 40s, 130 FPS or so range here. And the game is really looking rather nice. And of course, also it is running battery smooth. Let's check out the performance of a 3090. We'll start with Fortnite and go on with Cyberpunk. So already we can see, of course, a bit of a loss here. We are hovering at around 100 FPS or even lower. As soon as I said it, <laughs> dropped down to 60. But anyway, yeah, you get the idea. Of course, we're having less performance on the table and we are going to be using a lot more watts for less performance because, well, 30 series logic compared to the 40 series, uh, it was most to be expected. And there we go. As soon as the game starts, we are at around 170 FPS, but we're not even on the mainland here. So definitely expect some drop. Yeah, okay, there we go, the drops. <laughs> The drop so the settings are absolutely the same as the 4080 super and well these are the fps that we are mostly getting out of this game for a lot more watts i mean just take a look at that we're using around more than 300 watts uh which is <laughs> definitely a decrease in the overall efficiency for this gpu but of course this was to be expected i mean this is after all a 30 series graphics cards in comparison with the 40 series graphics cards of course there is no such comparisons to be had and oh my god Peter Griffin oh my god oh I felt all right right let's see let's see let's see uh, yes so this is cyberpunk and as you can see we're down from the 120 of the 4080 super at around half which is 60 to 70 FPS 
Don't get me wrong, the game looks absolutely amazing. Yes, we're still running the same settings, but uh, yeah, 410 watts. As I've told you, a lot of watts, even more than 410 at times, like 420 there, for around 60 or 70 FPS. So yeah, uh, we're actually using less video memory as you can see, we're just at around uh, 8 gigs and some change there. But definitely that efficiency of the 4080 is something compelling. Uh, both in the uh, well efficiency as it comes to wattage and efficiency as it comes to FPS. But uh, yeah, this is the obvious difference between a newer generation and an older generation. There's no argument or discussion about that. Obviously, as you can see, this is what it is. You can definitely keep on using a 3090. That's not an issue even in 2024. But it comes with a cost and a penalty or a cost of, well, I should say electric power because there you go. Uh, sure, it has more VRAM, but as I pointed out once again, that VRAM is not the whole story as you can see right there. But hey, it comes up to you, right? So it definitely all comes down to you and what you are going to do with your 30s graphics cards moving forward. But uh, yes, that's why I'm very interested in what's happening. What are you guys planning to do with your, I don't want to say obsolete 30 series graphics cards because it will definitely make me look like a schmuck, which I'm not. Because I know about you guys out there who don't really rock a 30 series even now and I'm very very sorry for that but um, our situation isn't isn't better either I mean uh, for the guys who are sticking with the 30 series cards which they paid definitely an arm and a leg for in the GPU apocalypse that's a big no-no uh, on my behalf anyway I'm talking on my behalf I've made a stupid decision to and I definitely do regret it now I had my fair use out of it I am still using it as my daily driver and yes it is a good card but I've overpaid way too much for it and I will never ever in my adult lifehood ever going to do that again. So back on track with what's happening here, are you guys experiencing the same problem as I have? Are you guys stuck with the 30 series graphics cards that you paid way too much during the GPU apocalypse and you can't really get to, you know, upgrade right now because of that? Because uh, as they say in the crypto markets, H-O-D-L, HODL or, or hold on for dear life. Well, that's what's happening with me and my 3090. If you guys are stuck in the same conundrum as I am, are you having a 3080 that you just can't seem to get rid of for a price that makes sense for you? What are you guys doing with it? Let me know in the comments down in the box below because I would very much like to know what I can do with mine. I have two options right now, sell it at a huge loss or I can just keep it or hold on for it for dear life and maybe give it to the grandsons and they can just keep it on a shelf like I'm keeping my 380. But yeah, it all comes down to that because well, definitely nothing else in between makes sense. Or use it, use it, use it, use it, continue using it. Yes, use it, definitely using it. All right, thank you guys, stay awesome. See you guys in the next one. If you like this video, you know what to do, subscribe, like and comment. All that good stuff, YouTube definitely loves me saying it. I hate saying it, but it's a must. And see you guys in the next one. Oh, and if you do join our special tier over at Patreon, good luck to you guys. You're absolutely amazing. Keep in contact both on Patreon and YouTube for more updates. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.